Suspect is now in custody after an almost nine hour standoff with NOPD officers in the Hoffman Triangle. And this is something that had the community on edge all afternoon. WDSU reporter Kelly Brown has been on the scene and has details on the charges the man is facing. Kelly. That's right, Gina. Well, police arrived at the corner of Taladano and South Johnson Street early this morning. They say they were attempting to serve the suspect, Philip Jenkins, a warrant for attempted murder, aggravated assault, and sex crimes when he refused to surrender, holding himself up inside of the house for most of the day. Neighbors say it all happened in the wee hours of the morning, just after 5 a.m. At first it was just the police, then a SWAT truck came, then another one came, then they blocked all the streets off. The New Orleans Police Department says they were attempting to serve the suspect, Philip Jenkins, a warrant for sex crimes, aggravated assault, and attempted murder when he barricaded himself inside of the home, prompting a SWAT roll. Tiana Lofton says she's only lived in this area for about a month, and there's been a number of instances similar to this one. This is not the first time this happened. I guess this is the first time somebody barricaded themselves in, but this is like the third time they've been around here. Police, along with U.S. Marshals and the FBI, ascended upon the area known as Hoffman Triangle to persuade the suspect to come out. At one point, officers say they sent a robot to the home to try to get the suspect to come out. If it's necessary, do it. If it's going to save a life, do it. I have no problem with that. After about nine hours, we're told the suspect surrendered to police and the area was cleared. Well, Gina and Travers, we are now in the 12th hour and police are still here on the scene uh, of, of Taladano and South Johnson Street. They've been processing it, taking photos, going in and out of the home. Now, of course, as more information becomes available on that suspect and those alleged charges, we will bring you the latest on air and online. For now, reporting from Taladano and South Johnson, Kelly Brown, WDSU News. All right.